Hello and welcome to Keys TV News at the Salford Media Festival. I'm Tiffany Sweeney. Today, Salford University is playing host to the Salford Media Festival, which is looking at the future of broadcasting in an era of media convergence. Don't forget. Don't forget to tweet your thoughts on the festival using the hashtag SMF13. The festival is celebrating 20 years as one of the UK's leading media industry events and was previously known as Nations and Regions. Professionals will get the chance to hear about the latest trends and issues affecting the media sector. But first, with today's headlines, I'm joined in the studio by Amelia Mincheva. Thanks, Tiffany. St Bonfast Church in Lower Broughton is being demolished this week. The cost to maintain the church and falling numbers of people attending are the prime reason for its deconstruction. This is the second Catholic church in Salford to be demolished in recent years after the one in May 2011. Workers at the scene said the demolition would probably take one week. Anti-fracking protesters in Salford set up a camp to show they are against fracking in the area. Around five tents have appeared at Barton Moss Road in Eccles. Salford Council said that iGas company does not have permission to frack. The Salford's Big Chill Swim is being launched today at Salford Water Sports Centre, bringing together hundreds of swimmers from across the region. Swimmers have the chance to participate in show training session with British swimmer Colin Hill, find out about his spectacular experiences and prepare themselves for more competitive swimming challenges. The Big Chill Swim Salford is open to people of all ages and starts on the 7th of December. Today is also the launch of the Salford Media Festival, which is hosted by the University of Salford. Students and people in the area are given the opportunity to network with inspirational media industry professionals. Greater Manchester could experience its first proper snowfall in the next few days. Forecasters expect temperatures to fall below zero across the country. Ice on the line caused a suspension on tram services between Rockdale and Oldham this morning. Thousands of tram passengers faced delays after Metrolink services were disrupted by freezing overnight temperatures. For more details, don't forget to watch our daily weather report with Helen Rowe Wilcox. Back to Tiffany. Thanks, Amelia. Don't forget to wrap up warm, guys. Now, the selfie has been named as the word of 2013 by Oxford Dictionaries. A selfie is a picture of yourself taken on your phone. Our reporter, Carly Foster, has been getting selfies of herself with the delegates. And now I'm joined by Trevor Dan, Creative Director of the Trevor Dan Company, who is working on commissions from BBC Radio's 2, 4 and 5 Live. Thank you for joining me, Trevor. It's a pleasure to be here. OK, so um, have you enjoyed the festival so far? Very much so far. I mean, I've done nothing except ask questions in my role as a moderator on a panel and then be asked questions by other people. But so far, no, it seems to be going very well. It's a lovely venue. And what do you think the objectives are for the, today's event? Well, I think it's always good to get people in the creative industries to talk to each other. There's a lot of silo thinking. I, I think if you work in radio, you don't meet people from telly. And if you're in telly, you may not meet people from online. And it's always good to have, you know, what in academia is called cross-discipline conversation. I think uh, we're doing a bit of that in media today, which is good. And how far does your involvement with so social media go? Like, do you have Twitter? Do you use Oh, Facebook? I'm at Trevor Dan. Of course I am. Yeah. In fact, that's why I was just getting my iPad out, so I could take a picture of you, oh, okay. which I shall then tweet. <laughs> Because that's how the modern world works. Yeah, so you you're... can't catch me out, even though I am an elderly man. Um, no, I think that, I think social media is absolutely vital, isn't it? And I think in my industry, which is radio, if we don't engage with uh, young people who are on social media... It's been a busy morning at the festival with hundreds of delegates arriving for the media conference. 
really good for the industry. It's, it's, a, it's a great opportunity for the industry to reflect. It's so exciting. We've been looking forward to this festival for so long. It was a great opening from Steve Hewlett. And we've had sessions this morning, been really well attended. Quite feisty discussions in some of them as well. Some big policy issues being discussed during the festival. It's been really good. Um, I haven't been to Manchester very often, certainly not to Salford. So this is the first time at Media City. So once we found our way around and into the registration, it's been really good. So there's been some interesting talks going on and we're looking forward to tomorrow as well. Coming up this afternoon at the Salford Media Festival. At two o'clock, the second parallel session starts with talks on crowdfunding and live online video. Then at three o'clock, there are talks about the Beatles and Shazam. Finally, it's networking until 7 o'clock. And now joining us in the studio is Clint Boone, DJ at XFM Radio. Thank you for coming in, Clint. You're welcome. It's nice to meet you, Tiff. <laughs> so, um, <coughs> could you tell us a bit about what you were doing this morning in the keynote session? I did a little uh, conversation with Josh Weinstein. He's one of the guys that was um, <coughs> responsible for producing and writing The Simpsons and Futurama. Um, and it was lovely. We've got a lot in common, you know, because I think there's a lot of... Um, similarities in what I've done career-wise in terms of being in a band and having your ups and downs and all that kind of stuff and being a creative and passionate individual and Josh is exactly that sort of character so we got on really well. We spoke a few times on the phone in the last uh, few weeks and we had a drink last night together so yeah it was brilliant, you just felt like hanging out with an old friend and it was inspiring listening to him talk about just um, his experiences, he's such a humble person to say he's done such monumental TV you know and in Simpsons is Probably some of the most important TV of our lifetime, really, whether you uh, like it or not. And it was just nice to just hear this humble, gentle chap talking his way through his story. It was really nice. And how important do you think social media is? Like, are you on Twitter? Yeah, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a Twitter. Yeah, I, like, I love Twitter. I was on it quite early because I've never been, I've never really embraced social media. I've never done Facebook. I did MySpace for about a week or two when that was invented, but uh, I got on Twitter four and a half years ago, just a complete accident I ended up on there, and um, yeah, I love it, it's my favourite way of communicating with people, um, a, a, apart from talking to people, you know, face to face, obviously. Brilliant, thank you so much, Clint. Keys News is covering all of the Salford Media Festival and the next generation. You can see interviews and reports on our website at keysnews.net. Keys News broadcasts live every week at Media City UK. Here's a bit more about us is a fantastic model for students to, to practice television news, to report, to take on a variety of roles. It offers students the opportunity to work in a real world environment every single week. We have some great links with ITV Upstairs um, and the BBC um, who are really supportive of the work that we do. We quite often have visitors watching in the gallery or watching downstairs. Keys TV is not only a fantastic team of students, but it's students that are working to produce great news coverage and really inspire innovation within the industry. We go out once a week at 1.30 on a Friday, online and downstairs uh, live in the Egg at Media City. Uh, the biggest achievement uh, so far would be the 12 hour news marathon that we did for Comic Relief. We were live for 12 hours, um, which was extremely difficult, extremely challenging, but the best experience that I think any of our team has had so far. What was achieved was fantastic and it really, really raised the profile of Keys News. We got some great press coverage from the BBC, from local newspapers. We raised money for Comic Relief. We've really raised the bar now in terms of what we can possibly achieve. Keys News is about simulating a real TV environment. You earn the respect, not just as a student, but also as, almost as a co-worker from the people who are the very people who are lecturing you. I got involved with Keys because um, the experience that it could give me um, was more than I can get from just my degree. What's really exciting, I think, over the next year is looking at innovation 
and looking at how can we do things differently? How can we make news better? How can we make television better? A lot of you have been taking to Twitter to talk about the media festival using hashtag SMF13. At Alex Fenton tweeted saying, hashtag SMF convergence, technology is moving so quickly that the law is struggling to keep up, hashtag SMF13. At Jan B07 has said Manchester, preferable to LA. And at Haluki has said Lawrence on visual storytelling. Don't forget you can keep in touch with us via email at keysnews.net, on Twitter at keysnews and don't forget that all important hashtag SMF13 for the media festival. That's all from us today. We'll be back tomorrow for more updates on the Salford Media Festival. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.